Hello everybody, my name is Brendan White and I'm a ranger here at Pinder Mountain Lodge and welcome to another episode of and Beyond's Wild Child TV. Uh, we're going to be talking to you about birds and birding. On the last episode we spoke about how to look for birds and where to look for birds. So this week we're going to be talking about how to attract birds to your garden. One of the best ways to attract birds to your garden is with a bird feeder. And today I'm going to be showing you how you could build your own bird feeder using recycled materials step by step. The main objective of this is to obviously attract birds to your garden, but it's also to recycle um, any rubbish you might have. So rather than going out to go buy materials to build this, see if you can't find anything at home that you could use. And it doesn't matter if it looks different to mine. Um, I'm sure everyone's will look a little bit different, but that's part of the fun. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our used plastic bottle and we're going to mark off the points where we're going to be making our holes. Um, and this is the, basically where the birds are going to come in and get the seed from the feeder. Right, so now I've got my two halves. I've made a little slit in the side of this half just so that it can uh, fit in the in the top part quite easily and you push it all the way down and there we go we're almost there next step now that we've got our feeder which is coming along nicely we're going to attach a little plate to the bottom just so the birds have something to sit on when they're feeding I'm going to use a bit of glue So while we wait for that glue to set, I thought it would be quite fun to turn our feeder into a double-decker feeder. Um, so what I was thinking is I was going to take another plate and use it as a roof. And what we can do is I found an old screw, we can maybe stick it through the bottom and that way we could have an apple or some kind of fruit stuck on the top so you can have different kinds of birds coming to feed. So the next step, we've taken our lid and we've made two little holes at the top and then two little holes at the top of the feeder. And then all we need to do for the last final phase is to put some rope through there and then that's how we're going to hang it. So there we go, I've added the, the rope, the finishing touch, and now it's complete. All we need to do is put some food in there and then see what comes to feed. We've filled up some seed, put our apple on top. I think a final little tweak we're going to do is just to put a bit of tape around the edge just to reinforce this section that's on the inside of the bottle. So to make sure it's just at the right height. So as the birds uh, feed on the seeds, some more seed falls down from the top. All right, everybody, this is the final product. Now let's go hang it up, see if we can't attract any birds. So when you hang up your feeder, these are some of the important things to consider. You, know, you want the, the birds to be comfortable enough to come down and feed from it. So it's preferable to have a few bushes around for cover for the birds. Perhaps even a bird bath nearby where they can bathe. Um, you also want the feeder to be in the, in the shade um, and preferably off the ground. Okay, so it might take a little bit of time for the birds to get used to this unfamiliar object in their space and come and feed. So. Don't get discouraged if they don't come straight away. I've actually moved mine uh, nice and close to our room so I can sit back and watch them um, as they come and explore. But this might take a little bit of time. So in the meantime, why don't you get started with building your own? And we would love to see them too. So please share them on both Instagram and Facebook. And don't forget to tag us at and Beyond Travel. Otherwise, that's all from me, Brendan, and the rest of the team. And we look forward to seeing you next time uh, on the next episode of And Beyond Wild Child TV.